Okay guys, so this is just how I do my little cleaning of my chainsaw here. Uh, I'm pretty OCD when it comes to it. I like it to look like it just came off the shelf. So uh, you don't have to go to this extent, but this is what I do. So right here I've got the air cooker off. You can just give them a quick little spray with the compressed air. You can do that to clean it off. Uh, a lot of people use soap and water to just rinse them. I just give them a little compressed air and it really quickly. I've also used the shop vac before and I vacuumed it off. That way it worked just as good. So either way you want to do it. Okay, so right here, you should blow out all around that air filter compartment, or you can use a shop vac. I'm on the back of my truck, it's tailgate, so I don't have access to a shop vac. That's usually what I do. That's why I just make sure I definitely get all that dust out of there, because uh, you don't want that. That's keeping that air filter compartment clean is golden. You've got to do that, especially with your saw, any saw really, not just steel, because you want that thing to start, and that's a common problem with them not wanting to start. Okay, right here, guys, I want you to look. Look at all that gunk. That's not even from cutting up a full tree. That's just dropping the tree. Because it was spot clean before. So look at all that. That's why it's so important. Because that can clog up. That can cause problems with your chain break, clutch. Uh, it's blocking your oil holes. That keeps your chain lubed up. So this is, the very, this is a very important step to keeping it clean right here. Just get all that out of there. Uh, you can use compressed air, uh, you just a rag. The female lumberjack lady on YouTube, she uses a toothbrush too. I haven't tried that yet, but hey, it works. So, you know, give it a try. I use a little pick. You'll see me use it in a minute. It's like a small screwdriver, a uh, small flathead. I just use it to get in some of the grooves and scrape away some of that that's kind of caked on there that won't come off so easy with that compressed can of air uh, you can use a air compressor I don't have an air compressor right now uh, especially not outside my, my tailgate so you don't have to have a compressed air if you're out in the field and you just don't have it you can just use a rag and a pick or something like that a brush however just make sure you got to get it
Now right here, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's some mud on the bottom part of the chainsaw in the front right there where I'm rubbing. Uh, I set it down when we cut that last tree in that last video. It was a nothing but a mud hole, so mud everywhere. I'm trying to get it out of the grooves because you don't want that caked on there. That's not going to look good. So uh, Some of it's really hard to remove, so in a minute you'll see me get some Windex. That's just what I had available. It works. Uh, you can use any really household cleaner. Uh, Mrs. Myers, it's oil based and no harsh chemicals, so it works really good for taking all that gunk off. And it's not going to damage the finish on the saw or anything like that. Uh, but I just used Windex off brand, you know, whatever, just what I had available. And you'll see me use it in a minute, and it really helps get some of that hard, hard to get stuff off dirt, mud, and everything. So, yeah. So here's that pick I'm talking about. It's just a little flathead screwdriver. And I'm getting in between those grooves on the uh, clutch cover here. Uh, you stick that little pick in there and you kind of dig it out, scrape it out. You'll notice there's a whole lot that I actually take up in those small little grooves. And, uh, you know, that blocks airflow, oil flow, everything. You, you don't want that. So try and scrape as much out of there as you can. It's really Okay, so here's me scrubbing with the Windex, uh, like I said earlier. Now, another thing you can do is you can take that muffler off. And if you remove the muffler underneath it, there's a lot of times there's gunk, black, oily, gassy gunk that builds up underneath it. I didn't go to that extent today, but that's something you can do. It's really simple. It's not very hard. It's just two bolts, and it slides right out. So, yeah, about anybody can do it. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the gist of how I clean my saw. Uh, right now I'm just putting, wiping down the bar and getting ready to put it back on, put it all back together. Most people don't go this far uh, to keep it like showroom, right off the floor, looking good kind of, but uh, most people just get all the gunk out from behind the clutch cover, clean out the air filter and they call it a day. Me, I don't know, I like to take care of my equipment, so.
Anyway, guys, keep that air filter clean, that saw clean. That way it'll start when you need it to. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.